Matt Ryan, Atlanta Falcons quarterback, joins us this morning on the Shell Pennzoil performance line. Matt, I know it's been a tough season with the dismissal of the team's head coach and GM, but you're coming off a 37-point win, the most points Atlanta has scored in a game since your Super Bowl season of 2016. What clicked so much on Sunday? Uh, it was turnovers on the defensive side of the ball. You know, they, uh, they created five turnovers for us, gave us a bunch of short fields, and uh, when you do that, you take care of the ball and you score some touchdowns, that, that takes care of itself. Matt, since Raheem Morris has taken over, you guys have gone four and two. How fun is it playing with him as the leader of the squad right now? Yeah, Raheem's been great. You know, it's a, that's, it's a tough situation to, uh, to be put in. But I think, you know, Raheem's been here, you know, going on six years and has coached on both sides of the ball. And I think uh, there's there's a great respect level he has from from all of the players. And so, you know, with with him kind of at point, he's uh, he's done a great job being really clear about what he expects from us. And guys have have bought in and played really hard for him. And uh, it's been a lot of fun the last six weeks. Matt, is that the difference? Do you feel like guys now have bought in when that wasn't the case before? You know, I'm not sure if it's it's the difference. You know, if you look at our year, it's it's been a strange year. Um, you know, even even when Dan was here at the beginning of the year, I mean, we had three games that you know really could have gone differently without much changing at all. You know, and uh, and that puts us in a much different place. You know, this time of the year than than where we're at. Uh, but I do know that you know we we've been making those plays that we needed to make. Uh, the last handful of weeks and uh and that that part of it has been you know been fine and uh part of that probably has to do with you know raheem and and, and what he's done for us as as uh interim head coach speaking of raheem he is obviously as Keyshawn just mentioned injected a new life into the squad matt ryan is joining us this morning the falcons quarterback on the shell pennzoil performance line but the best arbiter the best litmus test, Matt, you can have as to how well you guys are playing is to take on the best team in the division, which you will on Sunday, the 9-2 and two New Orleans Saints. How do you keep this momentum going into a game like this? Well, I think, you know, I think we've got to play better than we did a couple of weeks ago when we saw them down there. And uh, specifically for us on offense, we've got to do a better job on first and second down. Uh, when we played down in, in New Orleans two weeks ago, we – we weren't efficient enough on, on first and second down, put us in, in you know, a lot of, of, of third and, you know, eight, nine, ten plus, um, you know, which is, which is hard to overcome. And, and New Orleans is, is playing extremely well on third downs too. So uh, we, we got to be more efficient first and second down. And that's what we did. We did a nice job of last week. We stayed in front of the chains and, and did a good job of making first downs on first and second down. How fun is it? And I know you guys probably, uh, you know, because when we play in the locker room, obviously college ball is always talked about with different teams and different, uh, you know, BC versus this school or whatever. How fun is it having Ty Gurley in the locker room knowing that he's from that Georgia area? Yeah, it's cool, man. Uh, it's, you know, it's weird because, you know, this year has been so strange without fans uh, and just not being out, out out around town as much, but you know, you know how into it the the dogs fans are down here to have him back. You kind of, even with the limited fans, you get a feel from 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 that being in the stadium. And uh, Todd's been awesome. He's a great guy. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to get back for us this week and and be able to play. But uh, it's been a lot of fun having him here. Matt, what makes Julio Jones the best wide receiver in football? Yeah. Well, I think Keyshawn, you know, I don't know if Keyshawn agree with that statement, but I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I agree no, with it. No, too, man. no, so, no. You know how Keyshawn is, though, Matt. Matt, you know, he, Matt my nephew. My hey, nephew, listen, I, I get it, man. Blood, 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 blood runs thick. I, yeah. I, I get that. Uh, you know, however you rank them, they're all right up there. They're all great. And so, uh, to me, you know, I think it's his, you know, it's just his size. He's so big. He's so long. He's so physical, but he's. He's so fast. He's explosive. Um, you know, he's smart. He he he's tough. He blocks. You know, he does all the things you want from from that kind of guy. And uh, he's just an incredible playmaker. So uh, hopefully we'll have him back too this week. You know, it's it's always tough when uh, he's out. It's you know our offense is different, but uh, hopefully he'll be able to get back and, and make plays for us. Matt, how much longer do you want to play? 
you know, I, I think my body feels good. And, and so that's that's kind of the thing. I think being in my division this year, I still feel pretty young. You know, I got Tom down there. He's 43 and Drew's 41. And, you know, I have 35. I, I still feel kind of young compared to those guys. So, uh, But as long as my body feels good and I feel like I'm playing well, uh, I feel like I can still do it for a while. Yeah, and, and the reason I ask you that, because at some point in time, Father Time's going to catch up to everybody in one day. Me knowing you personally and kind of knowing your personality, you're going to be sitting in one of these seats. And I wanted to ask you about your future and the speculation about all the different trade rumors and how tough it is still, you know, being in Atlanta and, and knowing that maybe this may be your last year in Atlanta and you may be moving on at some point. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it's it's different. It's different from, from any spot I've been, you know, in my career. I obviously hope that, you know, I'm going to be here. I love it. It's home for us, me and my family. It's, it's a great place to live. The organization's been incredible to me the entire time. So, uh, you know, I haven't worried about it too much, though. You know, to be honest with you, I think one of the things you learn – you know, the longer you play is is to just take it one week at a time and uh, worry about what's in front of you and, and not get consumed with everything else. So uh, it's it's kind of the blessing that, that comes with experiences that you have better perspective. No doubt. I appreciate your candor on that. Key's got one thing for you on yeah. the way out the door. Yeah, Matt, can I get your membership number at the country club so I can order <laughs> something and have it sent to me? <laughs> I never, I never, I, gotta, I never see you. I got to run into you out I, there, man. Hey. You know, Key's always at the clubhouse, though. So. Trust me, you will see me because I am one of a handful. So you will definitely, <laughs> Matt, you will definitely see me. I'm not. What are you trying to say? I can't miss you. <laughs> you will not. Hey, you know as well as I know, Matt. You will not miss me. <laughs> uh, Sounds good, man. I look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.